Hi everyone, this is Emmy. Today I'm going to give you a demonstration on how to do the buoyant stitch and it's also called the crawl stitch. So let's get started. Hectanooka One is an arts and crafts channel on a variety of subjects. This would make a great border for like afghans or something where you want a rigid or a heavier border. I'm going to start with two strands of yarn and I'm doing it in white so that you can see and get the full effect of what I'm doing. So you're going to attach your yarn the same way that you normally would. Just going to do a chain stitch and it's really actually just a single crochet worked in reverse. So normally you would single crochet like this. You work along this way but for the buoyant stitch we're going to work in the opposite direction. So you're going to have your yarn started, you're going to go backwards into the next stitch and pull up the yarn and complete your single crochet. Again, you're going to reach over into that stitch, pull up the yarn the same as you would for a single crochet and single crochet. Again, reach over to the next stitch, pull up the yarn, make a single crochet. I'm just going to do a few more so that you can get the full effect. And that's what it will look like. And you can see that it has these little bumps as well. And that's how you do the buoyant stitch or the crawl stitch.